Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sans Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode we are going to build or assemble an es esca excavator and get those diamonds from that es from that excavator and put them into the crusher. So let's get started. So in this crate I've got everything we need to make a, um, an excavator. So we've got the radiator blocks, I think I've got too many there but that's fine. We've also got enough stuff here to actually connect it together. So let's get on and get on with this thing. Not sure if there are any mobs around, a quick check. <laughs> Always a good idea. Now having actually built a few excavators before, I've decided there's a trick. So I'm basically this is the Kimberlite vein, so we want to put the excavator in this in this chunk. So let's just turn on chunk so we can actually see where it is. So the centre of the chunk is here. It doesn't matter where we put it, but here's actually not a bad place. So let's get the um, excavator in the book, first of all. So we need excavator. We should find that fairly quickly. And this is the one we want to build, first of all. And we've got everything we need for that, as you can see. And the next bit along with this one would be the um, wheel. So the wheel is this, and we've also got enough for that. Even though we've got 20 steel scaffolding, we have to add the two together. So we've got another uh, steel scaffolding in here, another six so we need 26 skills steel scaffolding if i can speak so right so let's now just combine this with the projector because you have to build this in two parts take that out of there and that's good because then the book stays in there and then we can put this down and the way i want to do this let's have a look at oh, actually let's get the book out again It'd be a good idea and have a look at this one and then you can stop it and you can see which side the thing's on. So on the opposite side of the uh, redstone block is the power connectors. So I want the power connectors to come from my left as I'm facing at the moment. So we need the redstone connector on the right hand side as you can see, like that. And the stuff comes out the back. So let's get the projector into hand and put it down. Uh, if I, is it not working? Yeah. This place instructions for that, so it's a six by six by three. Ah, that's it. it was too far away. So the redstone block we can't see on this side. Let's just rotate it around with the middle button. So here it is. So that's the, the direction. And if we press Shift Middle, we're going to reflect that, like that. Uh, and so you can see the red hand. So this is the way I want it. So I'm going to right click that on the ground like that. So we can see what we've got to put down. We'll probably need a few more building materials or take it down one more layer. In fact, I think I, I want to be at layer... Yeah, this is good. This is layer 71. And the reason it's good is because the track is at layer 71 too. Like this. Ah. So I want that to be here. And then the output is on one block above that. So this is layer 71, so that's great. And this one here will be level 70. I call it layer. So let's get these bits put down. First of all, oops, wrong one. <laughs> that's the radius. But I'm not sure I've got a bucket of water in my hand. Actually. I think it was because I was doing some mining before. I was busy mining um, for some more lapis lazuli. And I've discovered a few things when I was doing that. So let's get these into hand here. Like that probably can't put those down just yet because we're one block too high over here so let's put the um, steel scaffolding down next or the sheet metal down next where's that going there 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 and here if I think I can no I can't do that one I'm too, one block too low so we need to put either block down here or do this um, this this uh, engineering part first of all should I just take that to the hand I need that. Let's put this one down. Let's break this one up. Doesn't matter which pickaxe I use. Like that. And then we can carry on building. So another sheet metal, then scaffolding. One, two, and three. And then we come to the next layer. Now this is uh, fairly straightforward after this because there's nothing really special to do on this one. So let's just get into our handy heavy machine blocks there's three of those there one in the middle I stand on that one and then we should be able to get everything else that we need so we need sheet metal so we've got one two here like that redstone uh, redstone control block basically is always this engineering block which is really the control block isn't it 
and then we need some light engineering blocks. We've got nine of those. And then we come back to the next layer. One over there, and then what else do we need on here? So we get good and scaffolding. Can't reach that. And then that must be, uh, sorry, that was sheet metal scaffolding is, we haven't got any more scaffolding, what to these? Then these must be heavy. Our radiator blocks, we've got two radiator blocks and one heavy engineering block. And then that's formed. Now, the trick is we can actually build this. And I think that it's going to be here. So let's just uh, build this, assemble it. Now, it's not going to work until we actually do the um, get the wheel into place. But if you right click the, this block here, the heavy engineering block here, you'll see it forms. Now, if we go into the middle of this here, like this, this is the center part of the thing, of the, of the machine. So we can get rid of those. We don't need, oh, we need scaffolding that we need 20 of those and some iron. So what we can, what we know is we can have a look here. We can put this block down like that. That's a steel, solid steel block. And then we go down from there, two blocks. So we need to go down here, one block. And that's where the next one of those is going to be. And then we can break away these here like this. So this is the middle of the bottom. So let's go back to the book here. It's much easier to do it this way than to try to do it the other way. So if you look at this, you'll see we've got basically solid blocks here. And that was the middle block. So let's just pause this. So you see the middle block, then we've got two scaffolding and another solid block of um, steel. And we do basically do that. So we've got three across here, five, and then this pattern. As you can see, let's just go up to the top of that. Uh, is it that way around? Just, okay, yeah. So you see the pattern. So now we know what we need to do. So we just put down three st uh, scaffolding here, one, two, and three, and that one then is going to be a block of steel. Um, wrong. <laughs> well, I have to be wrong, don't I? I thought it was too close to this. It actually has to be too, one block too far. Let's get the pickaxe out again. I'm using this bronze one. Right, try again. So that's going to be there. Then we need three steel scaffolding blocks like this, and then the fourth one, fifth one, uh, second one of this, no, that's one of these. And then we need to do the next one. So the next one is steel scaffolding, which we can do easily enough, actually, to be honest with you, even though, even though I'm blocking myself from that, like that. And that's the five of those. Get it onto place, but get up here, actually, probably be easier, isn't it? That's the fifth one of those. And then we need to uh, put two more scaffolding down here on each of the sides here of this one. Oh, I've missed that block on that again. Up like that. Oh, nice big thunderstorm. And then we put the steel block on the end of this. Like that. And like that. And then that's sort of that layer done. So next we'll use we five more scaffolding in here. And then we put the last two steel blocks here. Oh, last two or three, and the one that's going above the head. Then we've got these three steel scaffolding, and the final one is here, like that. And then if I... Th I'm not sure if I have to break this or not. Let's just try it anyway. Let's get the hammer out again, and right-click this. If it doesn't break, like, it doesn't make itself up, you see. It doesn't, hasn't, hasn't done the wheel. So all I did is, last time was to break one of these. doesn't matter which one I break, like that. And then I'll get back the steel... The engineering block. Which one did I have as it happens? I think this is a... Oh, it's light engineering block, isn't it? Like that. And then we should be able to right-click it, and it should form the whole of the of the, of the excavator. As you can see, it's now formed the, the bucket wheel as well. So that's that part done. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to basically come along here, just check our directions so, here. So this is... Um, I think this is the X198 line, so which we're changing as it is. So we need to go to X198 over here and set this rail up. This was me doing some testing, by the way. So, so the way I found it for, to get the rail to work in the way I wanted to get it to work, which isn't that easy, oddly enough, I need some dirt to fill in this bit here. Because we want to be in 198 here. This is where the, I think, yeah, this is where we want the rails to go. 
So all I need to do is put down two rails like this. And this is the way I want the... Um, oh, actually, let's just come around here like this. Make this junction here like that. So we've got this junction. What we're going to do now is we're going to force the railer to build itself in that go in that direction. So that's one thing I had problem with last time. So all I need to do to do that is I wanted to make a little loop to go around a um actually that's wrong isn't it? I want to go around like this. And I run out of track. I'll have to go and get some more track and I'll come back in a second. Right, I'm back again. So let's put down an advanced detector rail here. Oops, wrong, wrong one block. All blocks to put out, I missed it again. Try again. Let's put this one down here and then make a loop. So we basically want the track to go around here like this. So to do that, all we have to do is to put this here like that and that, and then that one. And then we want this one to actually change direction. So here I've built this um, tool. So I'll look at the railroad, railroad wrench from Better Railroads. And the recipe for that's very cheap, just two iron and two sticks. And then we can right click these these blocks here. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to go in this direction. I think this is the way I have to do it wrong way. <laughs> Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Try again. Like th this. And then I should be able to get to a place where it actually does the connection like this. So then the train's going to always go around here like this and then go off that way. So let's go and get the train because it's just over here. I put the cabling up here, by the way, it's three blocks high, so it doesn't dangle down and catch me when I'm walking past, because that uh, happens quite a lot as it happens, so we, we come down here. So I'm going to do is put the track, the, the train down here, well, the cart really, I suppose it's what it is. It doesn't matter where I put it, actually, just as long as I put it down here like that. And then we need, of course, we need a manager in here. So we need, <coughs> we need um, a cargo manager. Let's put a cargo manager down here like that. In fact, I could put a liquid manager beside it here, just so it fills up with with because um, I've got in this cart, I've got a thermal one, so it needs lava. So we can use the liquid one. This is actually fairly a lot reasonable amount of glass required for that one. So in here, we're going to put some um, track and some bridge building equipment like that, and then, then the cart should, when it gets powered up, which should be doesn't take too long it'll go off and it'll start to lay down track or should do that's got to take the stuff out first of all as you can see it's now taking everything out so it's now going to start laying down track and building a bridge over to here I'm just wondering <clears throat> maybe I've got this one block too far forward because I need a cargo manager here oh I have really let's just stop that and then bring it one block forward so let's break it like that, and we can just do that easily enough. We'll just take this one off here like that. Let's track off here and just force it to go around this this route instead of that route. Like that. And then we just come back here, put the cart, put the, the rails back in here and the wood, which have gone has actually gone into my digger's a forestry backpack. No digger's backpack. The building backpack. We should have wood into that, yes. Let's put those back in here. So it actually builds the bridge properly. It doesn't shift click. Oh, it works. Okay. And then let's put the cart down for the second time. And let that go on and do its business. So it's going to build a bridge here. I can break this stuff now so we've got some more track to play with. Don't need anything to break this up. these tracks, which is actually great as it happens. Because it's the easiest way. No, don't use any tools up doing that. We'll just break away this wood as well for that matter. So we're just waiting for this to get charged up. Right, it's picking up stuff and it's off. Thirty-nine pieces of track. I'm not sure that's going to be enough or too few or whatever. We'll see and see. Um, let's stop under this tree. Let's just remove this tree now because we don't need this tree. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring power from here. Now I'm not happy with this, it's too low down. So let's go and um, break this and get some blocks to put underneath it. 
So I can come from here. I'm also going to drop knock this tree down as well, by the way, because it's um, it's not very healthy at the moment. This tree it's been it's been damaged by pollution. So with a pollution-based tree, we'll just break it away. Plant a new one if you want to. Hopefully, you don't like that. And that should be enough. Yes, that's good. Let's go and check where the tra <laughs> All right, it's gone too far. But it doesn't matter about that. It'll we can leave that like that for the time being. So now we have space to put the um, cargo manager. And also at this point here, we're going to put down the second of the advanced detector rails here, like this. So simply right-click that into there, and it's it's done. Now it should stop here. In fact, I can then break this track that goes on past this so we'll go and get a cargo manager so I'm going to go and get a cargo manager and I'm going to wire this up what I decided to do with the what the cable is to bring it across here somewhere which is nice and high um, so first of all I'm going to I'm going to build a pillar up here and then make sure it's out of my range of being hit by cables so I'll see you in a few seconds when everything's prepared right so I put these at level 75 so all of these are now at level 75, as you can see when I'm from my uh, journey map, mini map, we're at level 75 on all of these. So I'm just going to connect these up. Now, I found the very best way to do this is to put these into your offhand. When you're doing any of this stuff, and then you just take anything, it doesn't matter what tool you use, as long as it doesn't have any right-click effects. So here we got that one. We can right-click this one on there, and that's linking from there. And we're going to link it to this one first of all and then we're going to take this one and link it over here it looks a bit strange isn't it? I could take this one further over that direction but it's, I think it's fine here and again I can reach this one which I probably can't so I'll jump up here and then I should be able to reach it now the, the reason for doing it like this is it's much safer to go straight down so all I need now is a connector on here HV connector and we can put that onto this block here like that and the, adv the advantage of having that in your right your right hand is you can still right click oops let's just take this again like that right click from there and then come across over here And then it's powered so now it's going to be digging up stuff so what we need to do is get a cargo manager first of all let's take this one oh i need a pickaxe on that like that and it's going to start spitting stuff straight out as you can see it's actually spitting out dirt so when i first did this i was going oh it's spitting out dirt that's not working because it don't work for this one so let's put this cargo manager in here like that and then it should be taking stuff out of here. Now that's putting this into the cart, as you can see, and it's still digging up dirt. Okay. Oh dear. So that's going to go around here and come back again. So we're just going to finish that track off now. We'll just manually do it because it's it's fairly straightforward now. All we have to do is break these, actually break that like this, and then we swap this one over because this is hard to break. So we right click it and break it like that, and then we can put this track down like that and then uh, then it'll come back the cart it will actually come back and it's fill itself up with stuff so now we're getting kimberlite fantastic kimberlite and it's coming in at a reasonably decent rate too and the power's coming all the way back from the the base from the um immersive tech solar generator uh, generator so it's basically solar power that's powering this which is great <laughs> I love it. In fact, I should move this one block over here because I'm just it doesn't line up, I've noticed. I'm not particularly fussy about that, but it <laughs> it looks better when it does line up. And then I'll take this block over here over that way and make that line up properly. So now I was going, oh fantastic. This is great. We've got three Kimberlite now. So let's have a look at the uses of those. I'll just bring it down here. So we put it in the cushion, we get a diamond. Now let's have a look at this first of all. Where's it gone to? I want it, I need the samples. Hopefully I'm not gonna hit those like that. So this sample, let's pick up this one. 
Do we need a pickaxe? Okay, we have to break this with a pickaxe. So if you now look at this sample thing here, it says we've got 68,400 ores. Now, in terms of stacks, that's 600 stacks of, of diamonds that we're getting out of this. And that's, great. that's fantastic. So what we could then do is let's have a look at this. Let's put this down here like that. And then break it. Now, if I break this with a silk touch pick, let's put it down two, actually. And maybe even three. Let's break one with a silk touch and the other one with that. This is silk touch pick. Let's break this. So then I've got a... Oh, it's gone into my backpack, of course. It'll have gone into my mining backpack. I'm getting used to where these things are coming into. So now if we have a look at this one, um, the uses of this one, if we put this into the crusher, we get two diamonds. So that basically would mean we have 1,200 stacks of diamonds, which is probably more than I'm ever, ever going to need. So we can then break these with a wrong pick. Let's get the right pick out. I need the luck three pick. Let's see how many diamonds we get from that. So they all have gone into this backpack, of course. So we've got two diamonds. We're actually unlucky in that particular case because we normally expect to get four. So, well, I expect to get four when, with that pick or more. So this time it's been, we've been a bit unlucky. So this is filling up with diamonds. Let's let that run along. And let's go back now to the other end of the of this, where the train's going to. I'm going to have to put break this as well and put some lava into it because it the cart won't go through the tunnel. And I've forgotten to do something that I should have done at the beginning of this episode. Oh, uh, that darn. Let's put it... I think the best place will be for the other end of this. So I'll see you over the uh, other end of the, of the track. What I forgot to do at the beginning of this is to start building another cart. What I really wanted was just a cart with it. Basically, it's got two engines in. This is just a transporter, just to move the uh, move things around. So I'm, I've done about this information provider. I'm going to just test that one out as well. It must be for that was basically simple PCBs, glowstone, iron, and sign. So it gives me some information. And then I've got some front chest here and some internal storage. Now the internal storage has actually got quite a high modular cost, but doesn't take up any faces or sides. I don't need any tools, and I don't think I need any attachments for this. Um, maybe I could put a shooter on it or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, let's get this. Let's get this assembled. It needs 32 minutes to assemble this cart. That's why I forgot to do it at the beginning. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I'll have to wait another 32 minutes. I was going to put some charcoal in there anyway. So let's just get a stack of charcoal out of here. I'll put that in there. Hopefully it uses the other fuel up first. So this is fuel level, as you can see, it's going down. But it's also getting replenished at the same time. So... So now I've got to wait for another 32 minutes. Uh, but I will show you what happens when you forget to use the right cart for this <laughs> this job. <laughs> I'd move the cable. I'd move the power cables around here so we can see that these are all now moved. So that they're a bit more. I didn't move this one because there's suddenly a great big drop down here like this. I moved it a little bit. But the um, problem is this one. <laughs> it's, it's dug the 3x3 three three out of this block here so I don't want it to do any more I'm using it as a transporter at the moment but <laughs> I have to put those back again if I put them back again now they'll get taken away and <laughs> get dug up again so there we have that one um, <clears throat> so at the moment I, I've also moved this along here like this we also had a cargo manager here from the earlier from the previous episode so it's dumping everything into this, into here. So you see, I've got those three aluminium scaffoldings, which I'm going to put back again. And some kimberlite ore. I've got plenty of kimberlite ore now. I'll take the dirt and the... I don't know where you got the dirt from. Oh, yes, of course, you got the dirt from digging up the, uh, the rest of it. Can I sort that? Yes, I can. So I've got nothing special in here. On the other side of this, I've put out a fluid one. So what I want to do with this is to go and get a couple of buckets of lava. Uh, and I'll bring those across. So I'll see you in a second when that's done. So I've got three buckets of lava. So this is basically the green side. And this behaves, as far as I can see, similar to the other one. So we can right-click that and it breaks these connections. And you can 
right click it again and it gives you colors so we want the green side here and it doesn't matter what I want to do is put some lava into the green side and that will then go into the cart so we can specify I think we want that to go into the tank can we actually specify that or is it just does I care about it? I thought you could click these things, but it doesn't seem to click. So let's put these into here. If I shift click, it uh, went into here, right? Okay, I don't want it in there. I want it in here. Let's put them in here. So then that then should go into the into the cart. If that's the right side, which it does look like it's the right side. Um, let's double check we're actually going to the cart, yes. It didn't actually take any lava out of here. That's strange. I would expect it to do so. In fact, it doesn't matter what mode we have this in anyway, because it's it'll come back in a few seconds. Um, and in here we've got all this diamond ore. As you can see, plenty and plenty of diamonds. Wow. Unlimited diamonds, really. I've got. Or as the title comes, diamonds forever. So I'm going to wait until the cart's built. In fact, I don't think I need to do that now, do I? So let's uh, call this a day. So we come to the end of episode 100, Diamonds Forever. Next episode, I'm, well, between episodes, I'm going to prepare a train track from here to the jungle base so we can then bring the um, hermatite or from there, uh, basically iron, from there as well and bring that into the into the system here um i was going to use more boats for doing this but i've discovered a slight problem with those when i was doing some more testing more boats what they do is if it's in a river and then night comes and i've got a solar powered engine it basically stops the boat the boat goes and then drifts down the river again but will go when it goes past another marker it doesn't reset itself to go towards that marker when the daytime comes so it drifts it and then it tries to go around the corner but instead of going around the corner through the marker it goes straight so it gets stuck on the on the bank sides of the of the river so i'm gonna have to think about that anyway until next time i wish you all the best bye for now